Good afternoon, uh, evening. Uh, my name is Sean Crow. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Lee Miller and Marissa Cook for inviting me here today to uh, discuss my series of, pa of paintings uh, entitled Modern Myth. I started this series in, I believe it was uh, 2006, and I've been lecturing on the topic for about four or five years now as a guest uh, lecturer in uh, Chad Okrish's, uh, Dr. Okrish's uh, visual communications class at Montana Tech. Now, uh, Modern Myth is a series of paintings that are roughly based on Greek mythology, which has always been an interest of mine because mythology both directly and indirectly says much about our view of reality. I have much more to say on, on that topic of, of mythology, but before we get to the meat of our discussion, I'd like to just tell you a little bit about my background. Uh, as far back as I can remember, I've always needed to draw. Uh, to, this, to this day, if there's a blank piece of paper near me, I have to draw on it. In fact, uh, if I spill my coffee, uh, I start drawing with the liquid on, on the table. I'm that, I'm that kind of guy. Um, and uh, it, basically, if there's a surface available, I have to kind of draw on it. It's just, it's a need. I can't describe it any other way. I've always been particularly interested uh, uh, in, in the human figure. Uh, my first drawings were of kind of things like knights on horseback, cavalry charges, you know, things little boys uh, enjoy. Um, and when I was about 10 years old, I uh, discovered uh, the Savage Sword of Conan comic book series. And I never really was a big comic book fan, but I collected them monthly and religiously uh, up, in, up through high school. Um, uh, they, they really kind of changed my life uh, because they had these beautiful action-oriented black and white pen and ink drawings and they really inspired me. Uh, the Conan comic books uh, more than anything uh, made me pay attention to uh, the muscle tone and, and to proportion. They quite simply uh, forced me to be a, a better figure artist. The Conan books also had something else that I had never really seen before but really inspired me. Uh, images of nude women. Uh, this kept me motivated and drawing all the way through high school and junior high as you can imagine. It was not until high school that I really began to, uh, became to appreciate uh, abstract or modern art. It was the work of Picasso that motivated me to kind of see the human figure as much more than the sum of its parts but kind of as a vehicle for conveying a, a deeper truth. I feel behooved at this moment to talk just a little bit about uh, appreciating modern art or abstract art. Obviously, if you're here listening to me talk today, you have at least a passing interest in the subject. But I can't tell you how many times I've been in a gallery, you know, similar to this one, and I've heard some guy say to his friend, my, my seven-year-old could draw this. I've heard it more times, not just at my work, but, but you know, I've heard that over and over again. Um, so. Why do artists make abstract art? I think that the easiest way to answer this is that all art is really an abstraction. If I had a realist painting of, say, a forest scene in front of me right now, that work would be an abstraction because it's a two-dimensional uh, surface trying to uh, depict a three-dimensional uh, 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 thing. Uh, it, is t it is the particular and it's taken from the real. Uh, it's an abstraction. What I mean by that is, if, if I'm looking at a, a picture of a, of a mountain, say, I can't go in there and grab a rock out of there. No, because it's a picture. It's, 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 a, it's an abstraction. It's a depiction of a rock. It's not a rock itself, and therefore an abstraction. For example, if all of us here took a camera and went out to the East Ridge or, or to the Highlands and took a photo, we would come back with as many photos different pictures as we have in this of people in this room. Uh, the time of day, whether we decided to take a close-up or a panoramic shot, even the way we were feeling at the moment would be reflected in our photograph. The difference really is mood. Uh, 